Stories about people being kicked out of stores during the false missile alarm have lawmakers taking action. They want a law passed requiring businesses and homeowners to provide shelter during a missile threat alert. We hadn't heard about any people being kicked out of homes during the false alarm, so why does the proposal include homeowners? Does it mean you would have to let in anyone who knocks on your door? Jen Boniza clears things up with the lawmaker behind the bill. Jen? Would you allow a stranger into your home in the event of an emergency? The proposed bill actually would require that as it's currently written. However, that's not the intention Representative Lopresti had in mind. I met EVA Representative Matthew Lopresti to get clarification. In the event of a ballistic missile or civil defense emergency, that people aren't allowed to be shoved out into the street. If it's a business or if you have guests at your home, we're telling people to shelter in place, so the laws on the book should reflect what we're telling people to do. I'm told the bill will be rewritten to reflect his intention. It's not always entirely clear on the first go-around how to accurately write it. The important thing is to have something so we can bring it before committee and have that discussion to make the language more perfect. I wanted to know what people thought. Restaurant owner Scott Lay says he has no problem with allowing people to stay. We all uh, value, you know, cherish life. And I think the law established that, you know, and as a responsible citizen, I would abide by it. Do people feel the same when it comes to their homes? I don't see anybody coming from far away that I wouldn't know knocking at my door. So for me, it would have been sure I would have let them in. But I guess if you're in a, um, a really, say, right in downtown like this, where there could be total strangers, you have no idea walking off the street, that would be kind of scary. The proposed bill also protects business owners and homeowners from civil liability. The bill is scheduled to be heard tomorrow at 9 a.m. in House Conference Room 312. Joe?